So this is Tai Chi knee therapy. And this is pretty much the only thing I use Tai Chi for outside of uh, my martial arts defense and the turtle back training. It's great for evasive maneuvers as well, but um, I don't know if you can call that Tai Chi when you're going up against boxers and stuff. It's kind of more like fighting training using Tai Chi. Anyways, back to the uh, topic at hand, huh? So Tai Chi knee therapy. We're going to get into our Tai Chi stance. If you don't know how to do that, you take the length from heel to toe of one of your feet, turn it sideways, put that distance in between your feet. You're going to tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin in, and stretch your crown up. And so we want to suspend the core during this exercise to mitigate strain on the knee. In addition, when you're tucking the tailbone, the weight distribution should go down through the backs of the knees, not over the fronts of the kneecaps. So if you're doing this correctly, your toes will almost want to come up off of the ground. In addition, you should feel the kneecaps kind of twisting upwards. When I say that, I mean, uh, if you look in this mirror right here, the knees, instead of going down like the weight is over the toes, it should go more like this. The weight goes down in the backs of the knees, and the knees want to do something like that. So that is how you get into the original position for this exercise. Now what we're going to do is move on to rising and sinking. And we're going to tie this in to our breathing pattern. So we're going to inhale, raise up on the knees, unbending the legs, exhale, sinking. And when we sink, if you feel any discomfort or pain while you're sinking, then what I want you to do is pay very close attention to this next part. We're going to break each foot into four quadrants. We're going to cut the feet in half from the distance length, and then we're going to cut them in half right down the middle toe. Okay, just in our mind, of course, we're not actually cutting our feet, guys. So we've got the, the feet imaginary quadrants, and we're going to play with the weight distribution on each of these quadrants. If you're wondering how to cut your uh, foot in half width-wise, or uh, sideways, I should say, the sideways line should lie about one to one and a half, maybe if you have really big feet, two inches past where the heel, sorry, where the ankle connects to the top of the foot here. So about two fingers distance here, that's where my center of the foot is. I'm going to walk you through it just so you guys know how to play with it. What I recommend if you're feeling pain or discomfort is while you're doing the rising and sinking, inhale rising, exhale sinking. Then what I want you to do is move the weight distribution closer in towards the big toes, okay? You're just going to Turn the weight in towards the big toes. You should feel more pressure on the big toes, the ball of the foot. And then retuck the tailbone, inhaling. And just stay in that sunken position as you find where you're comfortable. If you can't find a comfortable position on the inner two quadrants of each of the feet, then what I want you to do is play around with the knee that feels uncomfortable still. And just shift the weight into the back quadrants, more over the heels, and kind of twist around there and find that circle center point where that knee is, where that knee is hurting. Until you can find a spot where you're nice and sunken down and there's no pain or discomfort. Then we're doing perfectly. So once you play around with that, make sure that you've got
no pain or discomfort in both of the knees, and then tried to centralize the weight over both of them while maintaining that lack of pain and discomfort. Once you've achieved this, we can move on to the actual exercise that I use for my Tai Chi knee therapy, which is the tailbone figure eight. And uh, I have to give credit to Sifu Lester Holmes for this one. It would be very unbecoming of me to share his exercise and his lineage's exercise without giving him a proper shout out. So Sifu Lesser Holmes, thank you very much for sharing this with me.